Enter for a chance to win an awesome prize. All you gotta do is be subscribed and like my videos. For more information, check the description box below. This video is sponsored by Fanatic.dk. What is going on guys? Dr. Joe here and I'm back with another special video. For today, hopefully we're the first to show this Code of the Duelist booster box. And today we are still on the hunt for our Firewall Dragon and hopefully we can get it in this box. And before I start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! product openings. And without further ado, you guys. So since this is the first booster box that we're opening of this set, and it's a pretty special one, uh, we're not going to split it up in two parts as I usually do. Today, you're getting the whole box. So splitting it up here I'm gonna go for the right lane first as I always do yeah so hopefully we can get some awesome cards let's check these out here uh, launcher commander chosen uh, by the world chalice so uh, some guy in the comment section actually told me that these are used for I don't know your name I wanted to give you a shout out I really don't remember your name but thanks a lot for clearing this up uh, so they're actually used for these ritual uh, or link world chalice things I should have just read the name when I did it the first time but yeah that's just how it goes world legacies heart Rex and DDD wave high King Caesar yeah so our first super is you know, all right, should we check out the rest of the pack? Uh, Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy, Revendred, Origin, and Performer Pal, Trump Panda. Yeah. So, whenever we get an Ultra or uh, a Secret Rare, uh, we can get into talking a little bit about what the cards are. Jack, Wyvern, uh, Wendred, Revenants. DD Vice uh, Typhon, Goki's uh, Suprex, and a Heavy Storm Duster. Yeah, I actually want to read that card to you guys. Uh, Samurai Skull, Twilight Cloth, Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Pound, and Beckoned by the World Chalice. Yeah, okay, so that's a theme going on there. So let's check out this card, you guys. Heavy Storm Duster is target up to two spells, traps on the field, destroy them. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. Well, I mean, it's it's not a, a heavy storm or anything, but I feel like <clears throat> it's kind of what we needed at this point. Air Cracking Storm, chosen by the World Chalice. Destiny or Dangerous, Junk Breaker. Trickstar Lilybell, and a Cracking Dragon. This one is actually a very nice one, so we can take a look at that one. Twilight Twin Dragons, uh, Revendred Origin, and Stack Reviver. Yeah, so let's take a look at this card, you guys. We have Cracking Dragon, and uh, it's a level eight, I believe, yeah, level eight. Uh, 3,000 attack and zero defense points. It's a machine. It cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster with equal or lower level. So that seems pretty, pretty good. When your opponent normals, normal or special summons exactly one monster and no other monsters are summoned while this monster is on the field, you can make that monster lose attack equal to its level times 200 until end of this turn. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by this effect. Yep, it actually seems like a strong card, and I don't know what the rarity of that card is in the OCG, but I kind of feel like they could have made it a ultimate, or, yeah, you know, an ultra rare or something like that. FA Circuit Grand, uh, Grand Prix, yeah. Pulse Mines, Jane Twilight Sworn General, Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon, and Alila Twilight Sworn Enchantress. Yeah, we got some got some pretty all right cards here. Perry Knight, Orbital Highlander, and Transmission Gear. We're gonna go a little bit faster through the comments right now. So yeah, you guys, we are not going to look at the comments. We are, however, 
backup se uh, secretary face circuit grand prix the the ascended of thunder supreme king dragon dark rebellion and a trick star licorice yeah so we can take a look at that card so yeah from now on furthest away the the comments that are after the super are better we're not going to take a look at that so Trickstar Lycorish is a fairy. It's a level three, one, 1,600 attack and 1,200 defense points. Quick effect, you can reveal this card in your hand then target one Trickstar monster you control except uh, the Lycorish. Special summon this card. And if you do, return that monster to the hand. Each time a card or cards is added to your opponent's hand, inflict 200 damage to them for each. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's nothing too crazy, but you know, if you're building the right archetype, then you are definitely gonna have something, I think. Yep. Sonic Meister, Speedroid Passing Glider, Dangerous, another M. Duke, the World Challenge Dragon, and another Cracking Dragon. Yeah. Obviously the commons, or at least it's the same commons, are gonna show themselves again. So, yeah, it's not gonna be that interesting. Defense Zone, Sambina, Goku, and Spell Book of Knowledge. That's an awesome pull. Very nice, you guys. This card is actually gonna be freaking sweet. And I'm actually going to sleeve it up right here. Yeah, Khaled, shout out to you, man pink sleeves for back. So uh, let's read this card for a minute. So it's Spellbook of Knowledge and the effect says, send to the GY, that's the new shortened version of the graveyard. So either one spell caster monster you control or one spellbook card from your hand or face up from your field, except Spellbook of Knowledge. And if you do, draw two cards. You can only activate one Spellbook of Knowledge per turn. Yeah. That is pretty much why that card has, you know, kind of retained its value, even though, well, the set hasn't actually come out yet, but it's going to be pretty good when it does. So Lila, Light's Worn Enchantress. Yeah, and these commons, well, Hackworm, this, yeah, most of the commons we've already seen. So we haven't pulled a secret rare yet. I want to see a secret rare soon. Back to the front. That's actually a rare that I want to go over because that's actually pretty good. So let's read this up. Uh, so back to the front is target one monster in your graveyard, special summon in the fence position. Yeah, that is very good. And then break off trap hole super rare. We should take a look at that card as well even though we read it in the was it a sneak peek yeah i believe so but break off trap hole is when a link monster is linked summon destroy all monsters uh on the field that are not linked i believe this card is going to be pretty powerful but i'm not sure because you know you're not forced to play link uh except if you're playing you know other types of extra deck monsters but some decks aren't. A DDD Wave High King Caesar. Yeah, so let's uh, let's give that a read as well. I haven't actually bothered yet. No, no, we're not gonna do that. It's, this video is gonna be far too long if I give all the cards to read. So sorry if I'm not reading the card that you wanted to see, but yeah, that's just how I'm gonna, I need to keep it. So Trickstar Lily Bell and a room, the World Chalice Blade Master. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, nonetheless, I think you can just, you know, pause the video and then take a look at the cards that you want to see. Hopefully the camera is focusing all right today. I know that it wasn't perfect on the sneak peek one. Blind Obliteration and a Castle Link. Yeah, Field Spell. Let's check that one out. I haven't actually, uh, I saw the OCG version and I actually believe this one is a secret rare. 
in the OCG version, I think. But yeah, let's give this one a read. So it's a field spell, as I just said, Castle Link. Uh, once per turn, you can target one Link monster on the field, move it to the main monster uh, zone it points to on its controller's field. Once per turn, you can switch the locations of two Link monsters in your main monster zones or two Link monsters in your opponent's main monster zones. You know what? That actually seems pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you guys about that. That is pretty nice. So. And a Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes and another Cracking Dragon. Wow. That's a playset, isn't it? I think it is. Hmm. Well, yeah. Pretty nice. Oh, a Mizia's Radiant. Yeah, a Twilight Razor. I wanna keep these videos around 10 or 12 minutes maximum, but I feel like this video is gonna be a little bit longer than that. But hopefully you guys can read the cards that you wanna read. MDS, the World Chalice Dragon. And a Gaia Saber, the Lightning Shadow, Seeker Rare. Wow, that is, huh. There's not much to read, but, well, we can give it a read anyway. Let's see here. So, uh, I believe when this came out in like a synchro version, or at least something like it, uh, it came out in the starter deck, if I'm not mistaken, back in 2008 or something like that, but well, the effect is just two plus monsters, which isn't really an effect, but it does seem does seem kind of good, actually. Even though, you know, it's just a, well, it, it's basically just to open up your link zones, I think, and then getting to your, you know, your good stuff. But yeah, I could be wrong. Uh, if any of you guys have any, you know, uh, thoughts about using the card in decks, uh, let me know in the comments below. I really enjoy talking to you guys about this stuff and you know, I want to learn more, more about this format. I just came back not too long ago and I'm starting to pick up on the new cards and everything, but there's a lot to learn. Cyber's Wizard, another Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Yeah, so again, a lot to learn from this new format. And, well, there are a lot of you guys out there that most likely also want to learn a lot. World Chalice Guard Dragon. Nice. That's a very cool ultra to get. Definitely not bad. Yeah. So, let's, uh, let's check this out for a second. Because that is very cool. Right here. One star, 400 attack, 400 defense points, it's a dragon. Looks pretty cute, but... When a card or effect is activated that targets your link monster quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to or the field uh, to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So it's a hand trap, basically. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position to your uh, to your zone a link monster points to. You can only use this effect of World Chalice Dragon once per turn. That is pretty much going to be a three of in every Chalice deck out there. That is, it's very powerful. Yeah, not much to be said about that then. That's pretty powerful. Remnant Slayer and Missius Radiant. Yeah. So, I don't know how many packs we have left. We have about, yeah, we have five left. So, hopefully, we can get some awesome, these last packs right here. Another Cracking Dragon. Wow. That is the fourth time that we've seen that card. It's pretty crazy, but. Hey, that's just how it goes. Launcher Commander, and then Trent, uh, go, go, go. Glagacy, uh, Rendred Reorigin. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that, but 
uh, I mean, it's so it's it's a good card and everything. Uh, don't get me wrong about that part, but I just I really want to see a firewall dragon. And now that that secret rare has been shown, uh, it's not really going to happen, is it? Jack Vyvern, World Legacy, Goki Rematch. Yeah, but overall, it's been pretty cool to open this box. We got some pretty nice ultra rares. And while well, the Gaia Saber is also kind of nice to get, so yeah. Can't really complain. Even though I will, I really wanted to pull the, the Firewall Dragon. That's gonna be my chase card for this set. Basically think it's gonna be everyone's chase card, but yeah, that's just how it goes. So, what's in this last pack? Hopefully an Ultra. It's a March of the Dark Brigade. Yeah, I wanna read that. I have not seen that card before. So, let's put it in a sleeve right here. Let's give it a read. So, it says, Target one light sworn monster in your graveyard that has a level. Um, add it to your hand, then banish a monster, uh, a number of monster cards. Oh, just cards uh, from the top of your deck equal to the original level of that monster in your hand. Uh, you can only activate one march uh, of the Dark Brigade per turn. Yeah, actually, um, doesn't seem too bad. But this opening overall has actually been very nice. I've got to see four new cards out of this set, so that's pretty nice. Spellbook of Knowledge is definitely a cool pull. I have a playset of Vendred Reorigin, so, well, can't complain too much. I think this archetype is going to be played when, uh, when, when the set actually, you know, releases, but this was a very early video for you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed this. So, on that note, that's it for this video, guys. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, share, all that good stuff. You know the drill. It helps other people find my channel, and it makes it possible for me to do more videos for you guys. So, again, thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.